Can I delete setup files I've downloaded? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for askleo.com. Here's the question. Can you safely delete setup files of programs or updates that have downloaded from the internet? My C Drive's Windows Downloads folder has files as far back as five years. Since these were setup or update files, I assume they were zipped and that upon installation, the electronic carapace, for lack of a better word, became discardable. Is this correct or is there a downloadable file necessary to the proper functioning of the file or update that has been downloaded? Like a jack-in-the-box that would stop being a jack-in-the-box if you remove the box. Which types of download setup files or updates are safe to delete and which must remain, if any must remain? The answer, of course, is both yes and no. Assuming you've run the setup program and installed the programs that they represent, yeah, you can, in fact, delete the setup files, what you've downloaded. Uh, they are not required for the proper functioning of that application once a setup or installation process has been gone through. On the other hand, no, you don't want to delete them, but not because it affects the programs running. You want to save the setup files in case you need to set it up again. It's what I do, and it's what I actually recommend most people do. The best way to think of it is that downloaded files, downloaded setup and installation files, are like installation media, the disks and even the floppy disks that we used to get when we purchased packaged software and actually got something physical. We were always instructed to save the installation media, particularly for Windows, but certainly for all of the applications that you purchased. Save those disks, put them in a closet somewhere, whatever, save them. Why? In case you needed to reinstall the software for any reason. That reason hasn't really gone away. The most common scenario for needing to reinstall the software that you've downloaded once is getting a new machine. If you've got a new machine, you want to reinstall all of the software that you're using. And if you've got the setup files for it, great, you're done. The second most common reason, malware. Uh, basically, same idea. If you're not restoring from a backup, you'll need to reinstall your system. And that includes the software that you've been running. Third most common reason, hardware failure. Your hard disk fails. You don't have a backup to restore to. So you need to reinstall your system, including all of the software you are using. Now, the most common objection I get to saving everything that you've downloaded and installed is simply, well, wouldn't I just download it again? Actually, you probably would. It's true. Uh, it's very likely that when the time comes to reinstall a piece of software, you might first check to see if there's a newer version online. Again, this is what I do. Even though I may have a copy of the install file or the setup file on my machine, I'll go check for a newer copy online. If there is one, I'll download it and run it and install the software. If there is one. Now, there are two really important scenarios that just going and getting it online doesn't solve. The first, what if the company goes out of business? It happens. We've been around long enough now that software manufacturers will sometimes disappear, taking all of their downloadable software with them. I do hear fairly regularly from individuals who are looking for a download of a specific package or two that they can no longer find online because the manufacturer has gone out of business. If you've saved a copy, you've always got a copy. You don't have to download it again. You don't have to rely on that manufacturer still being there. The other scenario that I also hear about from people is version specific needs. So let's say you're using version four of some software and the manufacturer, of course, has gone on to version five, version six, version seven, whatever. Your version four works and works for you. For whatever reason, you find yourself in a situation where you need to reinstall. Maybe you got a new machine. The current versions of the software, even though you could download them, won't work for you. They won't work maybe because there's an incompatibility. Maybe you just don't like the new interface. Maybe there's something about the software that they've removed that you absolutely rely on in the old version. And they don't make the old version available for download anymore once they've released the new version. 
by keeping your old version, you always have that copy. You always have the version you're using. You always have the version you need. One way to think of it is as a backup. What you're doing is you're backing up your setup files. You're backing up the installation files for the software you actually use day to day. That way you're able to, without any dependency on anybody, reinstall that software at any time on any machine you happen to choose. So I strongly recommend keeping those setup downloads, those installation downloads, so that no matter what happens, you can reinstall those packages if you need to. Where do you keep them? Well, that's kind of up to you. It varies. You can certainly save them on a backup drive. You can save them on an archive drive that isn't connected all the time. You can save them wherever you have space. You can save them wherever it makes sense for how you manage your disk space. In my case, yeah, I have a, a server, a, a NAS, a network attached storage machine in my basement that has lots and lots of disk space. And when I download something, they end up down there. I also use cloud storage. One of the folders in my OneDrive folder is in fact the place where I actually place all of these downloads. So not only do I have them, but I have them on every machine on which I happen to use OneDrive. Again, it's a convenient place to archive and keep backups of the setup downloads and the install downloads so that you're never dependent on needing to necessarily download them again at all. One thing I will suggest, is that you not keep your setup downloads in your downloads folder. The downloads folder, in my opinion, is not a place to keep things long term. It gets too full. As you've seen, you've got five years of stuff in your downloads folder. It's not a place to keep things long term because things get way too confusing. You have no idea what's there anymore. My strong recommendation is that after you download something and maybe after you've run the setup program, you then move a copy to your archive location to wherever you plan on keeping your downloads long term. This is a better way to organize your information and it keeps your downloads folder clean. The other thing I'll do is when I download a new version of software, I will typically delete the old version. Unless there's some specific reason, unless I've got a hint that there might be a reason that I'm going to need the older version of the software, once I successfully download and install the new version, I'll go ahead and get rid of the setup files for the old version. At that point, yes, you could keep them all, but in the long run, there really isn't nearly as much of a compelling argument for those. Keep the most recent software that you've installed and you'll be good. For the original article on which this video is based, for updates, for links to related articles, for comments, visit askleo.com 17476. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.